I'm going to start my vows by reading an excerpt from one of my journals that I wrote on August 29th, 2021. Okay, so over a year ago. Okay. Garrett Gibson. <laughs> Maybe I'm overly romantic right now or somehow losing my senses, but I believe I am straight up falling in love with you. You know I was determined to avoid you at first, but you were even more determined than me, and that's what impressed me the most. You pursued my heart right away. I knew that your godliness and character were unmatched. You turned my world right side up, and I am forever grateful. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I'm praying that if it be God's will, that I may have the honor and privilege of being your wife someday. Garrett and Liz, in many ways it doesn't even seem real that you are now the ones getting married. And yet being so of the Lord is just so completely normal <laughs> and so meant to be. It's just such a right fit. It's been so precious to witness how God has been working in both of you while bringing you both together and leading up to this very moment. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look so handsome. Lord, we ask you to give her peace, grace, and let the let your face shine upon her. Grateful for her, grateful for her life, grateful for her. Is it this Joy Riddell? You bust me. You bust me every day. Everyone. And I never want to live a day without you. I've waited and prayed for you since I was a little boy and dreamt of the day that I would marry you. And today, that dream becomes a reality. It is my greatest joy and desire that you find in me the help me God designed especially for you. And in confidence, I submit myself unto your headship as unto the Lord. I promise to be a loving and faithful wife to you with God's help and strength, seeking Him always, no matter the trial. I commit to you this day all that I am and all of my love. Oh God, give them both a great spiritual purpose together as they seek your kingdom and your righteousness, building together your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Now God, mature them, refine them and strengthen them. Give them a little something to forgive in one another every day, that they may grow in the grace of long suffering. Give them enough tears to keep them tender. Give them enough hurts to keep them always looking to you. Give them enough failures to keep their hands clenched tightly in yours and give them success to make them walk firm in their faith with you. May they never take each other's love for granted, but always be reminded that out of all others in this world, they in love chose one another for your glory and by your grace. I promise to be your shoulder in the way on in grief. The smile when you wake up to on a splendid summer morning. And thank God for you.
I love it, wildflower. <laughs> I will love you in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in sorrow as in joy, and will be true to you by God's grace, trusting in Him till death do us part. Te amo. I love y'all.